Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this render in Blender. So let's get started. Hit Shift A and add a plane. Go to Geometry Nodes and click on New. Delete the Group Input and add a Volume Cube node and duplicate it. For this one, let's set the resolution to 256 and here let's leave it at 32. Add a Volume to Mesh node and let's plug the volume into the volume here. Duplicate the volume to mesh node and let's plug this volume into this one. Alt shift click on this node, add a distribute points on faces node and put it here. We also need a mask wave texture. Set the scale to 1, plug the height into the density here and here. Add an instance on points node and put that here. Now add a cube and plug it into the instance. We also need a subdivision surface node and set it to 6. Set the edge crease to 0.5. Add a random value node and let's set it to vector. Plug the value into the rotation. Now we need a combine XYZ node and plug the vector into the scale. Add a vector math node and plug the vector into the X and into the Y. Set it from add to scale. Now take the height of the mask wave texture, duplicate the random value node and set it to float. Plug the value into the scale. I'm going to set the minimum to 0.3 and the maximum to 0.6. Select these two nodes and press Ctrl Shift D and plug the vector into the set. For this node, I'm going to set the minimum to 0.02 and the maximum to 0.05. Add a join geometry node and put that here. Plug this mesh into the geometry. Let's also set the density here to 1000. Add a set material node and put that here. And let's duplicate it and put it here. In the material properties, create two new materials. Select the first one here and the second one here. Let's save now. Go to shading, go to rendered view and in the world properties, go to color and click on disconnect. I'm going to make this a dark blue color. Let's set the strength here to 15. Also make sure you're using cycles. Make sure the second material is selected and delete the principal BSDF. Add a glass BSDF and Control shift click on it. I'm going to give it a light red. Select the first material. For this I'm going to use an image texture. You can find a link to that in the description. Once you've downloaded it, select the principal BSDF and press Ctrl Shift T. Select all of the images and hit enter. Let's use the object output here. Now let's set each image texture to box here. Delete the normal map and add a bump node. Plug the color into the height and the normal into the normal. Set the strength to 2.1. In the render properties, under color management, set the field transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Save again and go back to layout mode. I just noticed that I forgot to add a set shade smooth node, so let's go to geometry nodes, hit shift A and add a set shade smooth node and put that here. Hit shift A and add a camera. Control Alt Zero to go into camera view. Go up here and enable depth of field. Hit Shift A and add an empty plane axis. Go to snapping and set it to face project. Now press G and Control and I'm going to put it here. With the camera selected, go to the object data properties. Enable depth of field and select the empty. I'm going to set the f stop to 12.5 and the blades to 16. In the render properties, I'm going to set the max samples to 512. Add a light area. In the object constraint properties, select track 2. Here, let's select the empty. I'm going to position the light around here. These are the coordinates if you want to use them. And I also set the part to 100. Now let's press Shift D with the light selected and move it over here. These are the coordinates and I set the part to 1000 for this one. In the compositor, enable use nodes and denoising data. Add a denoise node and connect it like this. One more thing that I'm going to do in the render properties is to go to film and enable transparent. Go to the output properties and I'm going to set the file format to JPEG and the quality to 100%. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you like this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.